Hey everybody, um, so um, this is I think like now my second or third Timu review. Um, so every time you get a package from Timu, it will have a bar like basically like this on it. And I think that's for their system to know like is there UPC so they know what the product is or that they have and how many quantities. So this was one of my free items that I got in my first um, got in my first purchase. I got three free gifts, um, and if I did certain things and everything like that, and this is one of the free gifts. The book bag I showed you before, too, was a free gift, and there's another item that was the free gift, and now I can't really think it, um, what it is. Um, next, time, next time I do a video for it, I'll have to remember it. Um, so I will post the link for both my affiliate ad or my affiliate link um, that if you don't already have the app, basically if you do it, you um, that, um, or if you buy something through it, one of the two, if you are finally doing it, um, I get a little kickback as well. Nothing like fabulous, but a little something and everything like that. So like I said, this was one of the items um, that I got for free. And you can see it says 16 in one set. And I'm going to actually technically open it for the first time. I peeped into it before, um, and I really ha I have not used it at all, I promise. So it comes with all these attachments. So basically you have the dicing blades, the, the different sizing, the bigger or the smaller ones. You have the coarse cheese grater, the uh, four millimeter, the three millimeter. So depending on what you're looking for, you have the one millimeter slicer, the wavy slicer, the cleaning brush, um, the egg separator, the press cut, the blade storage container, the colander, the hand protector, and the peeler. Uh, like some of these things I have from other ones, but it, this one also does come with a um, container too. So what I like is it's a Timo, <coughs> Timo item, but the items are in English. I can read it. Yay! Um, detachable blade options for grading, slicing, and dicing. You have the choices, what the examples are, and yeah, so I really like that. So basically, I was thinking of, so I was going to start meal prepping my salads for work this week, and I was thinking of basically doing um, some of, like, some of the items in here. So basically, like, wavy slicer, ideal for prepping potatoes or zucchinis or squash or for fries, or even cabbage for coleslaw. Um, basically, the... Um, the slicers um, for veggies or fruits for snacks, salads, cereals, and so much more. Um, so basically, I was debating about the slicing um, blades for the fact of uh, like my cucumber here, um, maybe even my bell pepper. So I'm not exactly sure yet because I'm very indecisive. And in all honesty, I might put this on pause while I set things up. Um, I might not. I don't know vegetable chopper um, and here's the instructions as well sorry so the back side again showing you all the things and how to actually use it as well so basically like the capacity the cleaning all that good stuff and then basically place the peeler with the non-slip grip on top of the base container, these uh, the steps will then vary depending on how um, how the vegetable is prepared. Dicing: lift the blade or lift the top of the peeler and clip the presser in the other, other side of the uh, underside of the peeler. Clip um, clip the desired um, dicing blade, small dicing blade or two millimeter, um, on the base of the peeler. Place your vegetable on the dicing blade, and then um, and push the blade. Uh, peel it down quickly presses the vegetable through the slicing so then also like the waffling shredding slicing grating so so it basically talks about it there so those are the little instructions and then okay I'm going to do it this way Sorry for my hand in the way. I'm not sure.
so to speak. So. Okay. Take the camera back. So. All those blades. What's actually funny is I just ordered a um, peeler from QVC. It was a two, two for um, a two uh, package one, and I ordered it. Gave one to my mom because I needed a peeler besides the grater over there. So, and then so so let me okay. Let's see. Because I'm using this as much as you guys are for the first time. Uh, So apparently you want to put it down like that first. Don't know if you can see. I'll show you in a minute. So for right now, I have, I'm going to try to just grate um, some tomatoes, not grate, um, dice some tomatoes. Let's just see how it works. I mean, that is actually pretty good for the fact that, especially if you're trying to make like a salad or something like that, or eggs in the morning and stuff like that. So, but we did have a little, little spillage. So, they definitely squirted it out. So, there's that. Let me also now... Sorry, guys. I can actually use those for that for the calzone. I was kind of going to make a little later on. So I have um, pizza dough that I um, I've been doing like little mini calzones for um, like healthy little servings. Oh yeah, don't mind. Sorry, I forgot I was doing something. My bad. Almost had a casualty in the apartment. So I had my sink full and I forgot about it.
So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had almost... Whoop. I said I almost had a malfunction. I did have a malfunction. Hold on a second. video or not a live video but when you're doing a video and you're trying to multitask and your um sprayer nozzle decides to to explode off of itself <laughs> oh, the mess that it makes um oh, yeah thank god that like i was here of that when that happened so apparently i'm not doing the dishes um I am doing the dishes via dishwasher right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, it could have been so much worse. So much worse. It really could have. Apparently, I was meant to just kind of clean up <laughs> the air. Okay, now, so if, if none of you guys have ever known why I call myself Miss Hot Mess in our randomness, this is an example. Um... <laughs> Oh, just hot mess situations that happen. Um, so, yeah, it, like I said, it could have been a lot worse. Um, we got a little little sprayage going that happened. Um, it's one way how to clean. <laughs> Think, thankfully, seriously, it was just a, like, a little, like, little spritz. Um, but, but seriously, oh, could have been so much worse, could have been so much worse. <laughs> uh, huh. It's one way I had to clean your counters. Yeah, and then I'm malfunctioning. What's going on, pump? Uh, we're a little elevated. <sighs> Do, 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 do. So, okay. So, at least over there, okay, there's a little bit of water. Hold on. One use for the coffee pot. Shush up, hook. When it rains, it pours. I just done laundry too. Okay, today it's the night that my blood sugars are being extra. So I have a stomach emptying test in a few days to figure out about my body system this was so not the bit where the video was going with before by the way um so currently it my body likes just to be a little bit more bad. um right now now it's going up to 282 i have two units of on at this rate Again, one way how to clean things, you have to wet the towel. Uh, when it rains, it pours. Okay, okay, come on. Just leave it there. Uh, you guys might see me flip out at the fact that my stuff doesn't want to work properly. 
And I'm just annoyed. That's what happens when your butchers are elevated. You get annoyed very easily. God, grabbing the strength and not to throw my $6,000 piece of machinery out the window. If I'm probably not trying to multitask at the same time, that would probably be good. <sighs> okay. Calibrate, yes. This is, this is just a sh this is what the fuck happens in my life. Um, okay. Um, ooh, we're supposed to dry clean this dress. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, 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 doopsie. Okay, does anybody know really what they do with dry cleaning, like... You know, I might just put it on the low. The time dry air fluff. That's what we're gonna do. Dr the dress is a, is a minute and a half old, so if it gets ruined, whatever. Okay, back to uh, my situation. Okay, so back to this. Thank you all for p putting up with me on that. Um, so I'm going to use one of the blades. Okay, we got the cutter, we got the small, Ooh, we got the wavy, do I want to be fancy and do wavy? Um, nah, we will just go with the regular, okay, and it looks like it's supposed to go this way, oh, maybe. Oh, no, it's actually supposed to go this way. Okay. That was fairly easy once I figured I verified. So that's what we're going to do with that. Back to that. And might help by opening up the cucumber. ready to go. Um, I had a knife. I don't know where I put the knife, but that's okay. We're going to use a new knife. Okay. Playing really thin, so I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. Um, I don't know if that's. I did say one milliliter, did, millimeter, didn't? The centimeters is bare. Um. You guys almost had a, had a boo boo on the camera. That could have been bad. Mm. I almost took out my finger. 
Okay. Uh, let's try this guy. Okay, it's kind of, okay, that's what's happening with the wavy. So, I don't know if I'm just screwing this up somehow, um, or what. So, I'm really not sure. I mean, I know for the dicing thingy it's working, but I don't know. Um, but yeah. So far, we're kind of at a half and a half. So, okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go because you guys put up with me for a really long time. And, yeah, so this is that. So, you guys have a good day.